Another title for Maggie Steffens, this one coming in Europe, plus ODP National Championships are on the way, and much more on a brand new counterattack. Hi everyone, Greg Meskel here. Thanks for joining us on the counterattack. We start things off in Spain. Maggie Steffens of Team USA fame playing for her club team, CN Sabadell, in the Copa de la Reina. It's the second most important title in the country of Spain. And CN Sabadell winning it again. They defeat CN San Andrew 11 to 9, third straight year that CN Sabadell has won the title. Look at the team shot via the Instagram account. Congrats to Maggie and the rest of the squad. From there, we go to college water polo in the Cap 7 college scoreboard, and it was the Triton Invitational drawing many of the top teams in the country to San Diego this past weekend. The L.A. battle, the first one of many, we're sure, this year. USC taking on UCLA, and the Trojans win it 10-3. In third place, Michigan over UC Irvine in a close one, 9-8. Fifth place, Arizona State edging UC Santa Barbara, 7-5. Back East, Princeton Invitational, two wins on the day for the host Tigers. They defeat Iona 17-7. Speaking of Princeton, I was at the pool this past weekend. First time I've ever seen this. Check out the pregame video introduction and light show. That stuff usually you see... In basketball, football, love that water polo is doing it. Of course, the light show only really works if you have a roof on the pool. But if you have a video board, great to show some pregame hype on the video board. Speaking of videos, we've got a whole host of videos available now from the recent USA Water Polo Development Summit. They are available on the High Performance YouTube page. Here's a quick look at some of what you can see. Talks from all kinds of important folks in the water polo world. Olympians, Betsy Armstrong, Cammy Craig, well-known coaches, Doug Peabody, Jack Coker, Dan Clapp, the list goes on. Plus our keynote address from Dr. Wade Gilbert. Here's a little bit of what you can access on the USA Water Polo High Performance YouTube page. We get to the end of the season, and I find this is a moment that a lot of coaches, unfortunately, kind of skip over. They, they jump into what's next, but there has to be some closure on your season because it's, it's a journey. You're taking a team on a journey, an emotional, physical journey, and you need to have some kind of closure there. Just to reinforce that, a coach's job isn't done when the season ends, it, it just changes. So again, it's just a different coaching moment. It's not the end of that journey. It's just a different moment that requires a different kind of focus and different activities. The best form of, I think, flattery for your athletes is giving them praises. Next phase of, of film, Always try to end on a high. Always try to end on, you know, their goals. Always give them something to be totally happy, walking out, ready to dominate in practice. And since we're talking high performance, it segues nicely into the upcoming ODP National Championships. They're coming up this March, and they're headed back to Riverside. The ODP National Championships have been in Riverside before. Always makes for a great event. March 1st through the 3rd, the boys' competition. March 15th through the 17th, the girls' competition. We'll be there getting highlights of all the action, and we'll share it for you right here on the counterattack. Best of luck to all the athletes gearing up to head to Riverside this March. And now we close things out as we do every week with our social media send-off powered by our friends at Cobian, and we start off with our weekly Cobian winner. Don't forget, you can enter for a chance to win Kobe and Sandals by sharing something on Instagram or Twitter and using the hashtags EverySteppMatters and Counterattack. And we start off with our winner this week. We go to the state of Oregon, high school water polo player Jayla Dieter submitting this via her Instagram story from her water polo life. Thanks, Jayla, for sharing that. And she'll be the recipient of a brand new pair of Kobe and Sandals. Now on to the rest of the social media send-off. ODP training, or is it synchronized swimming? Thanks to Steph for sending this one in. It is, of course, ODP training, but the team, the athletes working in unison. Check out this awesome water polo birthday cake for Larry. We hope this cake is completely gone now. This was a couple of weeks ago. It came to us via Facebook, but happy belated B-Day, Larry, and hope you enjoyed that awesome water polo cake. And to Williston High School in Massachusetts we go, where water polo players were teaching football and basketball athletes how to play water polo all about a day, celebrating and respecting the choices of others. Appreciated that from Hill3Williston on Twitter. 
And a big shout out to NCAA Water Polo for all the help they offer in developing Olympians that go on to compete, not just for Team USA, but Olympians in so many other water polo countries around the world. Our old pal Doug Kazarian from ESPN. Doug's a former water polo player watching the wrong kind of polo here, but he doesn't fall into the trap of making the terrible time-honored joke. He's actually watching polo. Is there a counterattack going here? It looks like those horses are working together. And you know we close out our show a certain way every week with an ask to look weak side. Instead of me saying it, we go back to the ODP East Regional Championship in Greensboro, North Carolina, where we found some guys who were big fans of the show. And that's all for this week's episode. When you're on the counterattack, look weak side.